Hello fellow Cirrus pilots, uh, Marcus Adelson in uh, Gainesville, Florida here. It's a dark night, which is perfect. Uh, we're going to go out and give the new uh, enhanced vision system from Cirrus and the Maxivis uh, EVS 600 sensor a try. You can see it here, it's mounted on the left wing. Uh, it has two sensors, so it uh, blends visible light with uh, infrared imagery. Here we have uh, started up and we're taxiing uh, to the runway. At the whole short line here, uh, you can see the synthetic vision, and there we got EVS. And if I turn the landing lights off, you're not really going to see a difference on the EVS image. Uh, it's quite amazing. It's uh, using all of that inf infrared light technology at, at nighttime. So you can see uh, here, it zoom back out and uh, landing light off, landing light on. You can't, you can't tell a difference on the EVS. All right, uh, let's uh, get rolling. I can see uh, on the EVS system all the way down the runway. I don't see that there are no uh, objects there uh, outside. It's, it's pretty much you know pitch black other than for the uh, for the lights. All right, coming up to rotate speed here, and uh, it's kind of cool looking at both the uh, EVS and the synthetic vision. Uh, you get a really good situational awareness. Um, you can see the EVS screen becoming brighter. It doesn't really get that bright. It's it's more of a camera. Uh, issue while recording this. Uh, you can notice the uh, landing lights obviously on the on the runway. Uh, you can also see the uh, clouds in the sky there in the right and uh, obviously looking out the window you wouldn't see any of that. Uh, it's it's pretty much pitch black. Uh, you saw the screen flicker there in that calibration message. Uh, I see that uh, every few minutes. I'm not quite sure what the deal with that is. All right, this is the traditional map setup uh, you're familiar with. Uh, if you go to the AUX page and then to the uh, to the last uh, page on there, uh, this is the default page that starts up. You have the uh, small EVS window and then the map. You hit the hide map and it goes to full screen. Uh, along the soft keys, we have a zoom, which is a, a 2x zoom. Uh, it's just a digital zoom. You can zoom in and zoom out. You also have options to uh, adjust the, uh, the brightness and contrast, etc. All right, uh, we're now overflying uh, Williston at uh, 2,500 feet. Uh, you can see the runway uh, is a T, it looks like, uh, from here. And um, once again, outside, it, it is pitch black, uh, but you have a good feeling here on the VS, uh, you know, the runways, where the fields are, uh, which fields are open, which fields have trees in them. Uh, we're gonna come here uh, on um, downwind turning uh, base for uh, runway two, three in Williston. Uh, much closer to the ground now, so the resolution is better. I think the camera is only 320 by 240, so you know it's not a high definition image. Uh, the closer you are to the ground, obviously, the clearer the image is gonna be. Uh, Williston is interesting because there's a quarry uh, right in front of the uh, threshold, and uh, at night time. You know, you don't you don't see anything, but with EBS you can see it. All right, you see it on the synthetic vision there. I have the runway, and there comes the runway on the uh, on the EBS. Um, the runway uh, lights are at the are at the brightest settings at the moment. When I get a little bit further in, I'll, I'll, I'll turn them down. You can see a road and a truck passing down there. trees and here's the quarry that's uh, right in front of the, uh, the runway threshold. Uh, once again, if you look down there, it's, it's certainly pitch black. One thing that's interesting with, with the EVS with it being underneath the camera is that you see a lot, uh, you have a lot better forward visibility uh, than you do because the engine cowlings are on the way. All right, there I turn the brightness on the lights down. Uh, looking down the runway, um, you know, the landing lights certainly don't see much much far down, but I can with EVS to see that there are no obstacles or, or animals on this, this uncontrolled airport. Alright, decent landing there, just as the stall horn came on. 
And uh, here once again, you know, this is what you see how to head with the camera. I uh, turned the landing light off here just to try the system. With the, with the EVS, obviously, you see all the way, and I uh, turned the landing light uh, on and off, not making much of a difference on the, uh, on the EVS. Uh, it's a little blurry, but uh, you will see that there's a tower out ahead, and I was able to spot that on the EVS system. You can see it there in the, in the right-hand corner, uh, just uh, blinking. So it is picking up visual light in addition to the infrared light. All right, uh, final landing for the night. Uh, we are on uh, right base for uh, runway 7 in Gainesville. Uh, you can briefly see uh, out the window there uh, some of the lights in the, in the airport environment. Uh, pretty high here. Uh, I, don't, I don't like to be uh, low and slow at night time. Uh, so we're going to have a little steeper approach than normal. Uh, you can see the, the runway now very clearly on the EVS. Uh, you also have it on the synthetic vision. Um, at this point, you know, it would have to be a large obstacle to, to pick it up on, on the EVS. But uh, as you get closer, if there would have been something on the runway, uh, you would definitely pick it up on the EVS. Uh, and all of those items in the, in the foreground there, you know, it's you know, just uh, pitch black. And, landing ground came out faster than I than I thought. Uh, that's it for now. If you have any questions, you know, post them in the forum and uh, I'll respond to them. You guys have a good uh, Thanksgiving.